G'day guys, today we're going to be fitting off that uh, 230 Falcon 270 degree awning to the side of my DIY hybrid caravan. Stay tuned. <laughs> G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be fitting off the 230 Falcon to the uh, side of the van as I mentioned in the intro. So if you're new here, there's a 20 part build series, I built the entire van. Uh, I had a lot of questions through the build series about the awning and how the strength is and all that sort of stuff and functionality as well. So I thought I'd pull together an episode which is the relevant bits out of the 20 part um, smashed into one episode and also uh, a bit of a field test out in the, out in the bush recently and um, you know set up and packed down and stuff as well. I really like it. I think it's worked well. It's only 19 kilos, which is why I was attracted to the 2301. It's a lot lighter than some of them that are out there. Uh, I had to do a bit of um, extra work to try and strengthen the wall and also come up with my own bracket design. I've got one here, that's the spare. I'll jump into that in a second. Uh, 230 actually supply these pretty heavy duty boys with, the, um, with their kit, but it wasn't gonna work in my situation. Anyway, we'll jump in and uh, we'll talk a bit about the uh, brackets I had to make up and how they work. These are the uh, awning brackets that I've made up. So it's just a bit of 10 mil aluminium, 100 mil wide, uh, which was made to suit these plastic packers, which are literally just adding um, width to my setup. So they're a 100 mil um, packer with 10 mil thickness. Uh, it's a bit of a delicate dance, this, because it needs to be strong enough to hold the awning up in general use, normal use, you know, vibration driving along the road when it's set up. And pegged down and everything but i don't want it to be that strong and if i ever catch a cyclone big gust of wind lifts the whole awning up i don't want to rip the side of the van apart so the bolts are only um i think there's six or eight mil shank and there's three brackets i've made a spare as well just to carry um but hopefully if there's a gust of wind this will bend or snap uh, or bolts will snap before the side of the van rips apart. I'm not really sure about all that. Um, awning's not freestanding. Technically, it has got poles built in that you drop down when you put the awning up, so I can peg it down and I will every time, but there might just be that occasion when I forget about it and walk away from camp and the wind picks up. So there's the three done with uh, all the holes drilled. So there's these 60 mil bolts that go through. They'll go through the wall as well as, uh, and then clamp on from behind on the inside of the caravan. That's just inside. I'm just going to have three of those bits of plate, aluminium plate, with a washer on the back of these uh, nylon nuts. Well, she's on. Happy? Not sure. It's fairly solid. It doesn't move, but the top bolts, oh, I reckon they're five mil too short. Uh, don't know whether I take it all off again and put it back on with five mil longer bolts. They don't quite catch the nylon at the end of the nut. But uh, she's on, it's solid. Uh, wouldn't like to do that with the roof on, so I've got to make a decision before I put the roof on whether or not I'm going to live with this or change that bolt. I think I might sleep on it. Before we head out bush and set this thing up, I uh, just thought I'd let you know too about the strengthening of the wall. Just realised that I didn't cover that in the installation video. Um, 
This is a cutout from the top of the door here. So this uh, fiberglass composite panel's got just got a foam core. Uh, it's got some strength, but not much. It doesn't ever really ever have com compression strength either. So for those bolts to go through that up there and then the nuts come in behind on the inside of the wall, um, doing them up, you'd, you'd squash and deform the panel quite badly. Um, so this cutout actually came out of the top of that door there. You can see it's just caught the edge of the PVC insert that I've put in. So along this length here, and in various other strategic locations, actually between all these cutouts, I've got PVC running through. So I designed that in when I got the boards manufactured um, down at Transform RV. They're 50 mil wide strips that run all the way along. And I think I've got four of them in the wall there. So they come all the way down to beneath that bracket line and then come in and meet the door there where you can see it. Um, that just strengthens that whole area up, allows for that compression with the bolts and um, really made a big difference to the strength of the whole thing, I think. Anyway, let's head out to site. Um, we'll set this thing up. Got these ground anchors you would have seen me putting them in from the drone shot maybe um i think i've shown them before on previous episode but they're yeah just an anaconda um i don't know what they're called easy anchor that's it yeah they're not a bad little bit of kit um they come with a special tool so just a um it's got like a star head on it which is dangerous because if you lose that you can't use them but i well, can't get them out it would be a nightmare but anyway um, I've bought two of those, I've got one spare uh, hiding away in case I drop this one sometime. But yeah, they just um, they just drop into the ground. Unless you hit a rock like that. There we go. Tighten the rope and we're good to go. I've made one of these uh, fly tarp situation so that's just a $30 cheapie really lightweight off eBay um, the Falcon 270s have got a zip attachment for their walls they've got special walls but they're like a thousand bucks for the whole kit which is a bit steep I think um, I've just got a, one of these fly tarps off eBay and then bought a number 10 chunky zip which is what that is apparently and um, that was 30 bucks and the zip was 25 or something three meter long zip and then it just stitched to the top of the, that tarp and then I just use that for a bit of wind protection a bit of sun protection keeps the sun off my fridge which is great and um, uh, also acts as a bit of uh, downward force like a, a guy rope type situation they obviously shade wind and rain kept out it extends the living area a bit you could tuck a swag in under there it makes it a lot better Yeah, so that's the awning um, pretty much set up. I could chop a couple more poles in. I typically um, don't put poles in these end ones um, and I don't tie these guy ropes unless there's a bit of rain and I want a bit of sag set up. So as you would have seen through the installation video, I've got a bit of a gap there um, where this mounting plate sticks the awning away from the van a bit. I've never ever had any rain come down there, not to dribble in uh, the whole time I've been using this, which is some fairly serious rain in some trips as well. So pretty confident that doesn't really cause any problems. Um, my door's got Centerflex hinge on it, so it's waterproof anyway. So if rain does then rub down there, do run down there, it doesn't run into the, into the um, kitchen area. Uh, I've got to come up with a resolution for this. I haven't really solved this problem yet. As you probably see, this is on a very, um, downward slope uh, situation because I've got it pinned down to the bumper bar to hold it tight. I need to put a, a mounting point here through the wall with a little buckle on it that I can just tie that to um, because it's putting too much strain on the uh, hinge point here. So I need to do something about that I reckon or else it's going to end up breaking at some point. Uh, similarly here, this one's not as bad actually, it's a little bit higher. Um, similar sort of situation where it's pulling down 
so don't mind on this end i'll probably just leave that one as it is uh, i won't do it up too tight po pointing down like that means the rain runs away from the fridge as well which is good yes yeah, so that's the awning she's um pretty good bit of kit i'm happy with it i've been no dramas at all it's easy to pack down it's easy to set up um doesn't take up too much bulk it's only 19 kilos yeah i reckon it's good and uh, i've had it in some fairly hectic wind and it hasn't ripped the side of the van off yet so it must be attached pretty well anyway thanks for joining in again uh see you on the uh rerun there'll be something else next week i'm sure cheerio